In this video tutorial, we're going to take a look at the user interface for Windows Live Movie Maker. The interface is quite simple and is made up of three or four key elements. The first are these tabs along the top. Underneath these, we have the control ribbon. On the left, we have the video preview panel. And on the right, we have the project panel area. I'm going to start by creating a new project. I'll choose no to this option and it's created me a new project immediately with the project title up here. Next I want to import some video clips. I'll click this add videos and photos button and I'll just import this one clip here for the time being. Once a clip's imported it appears here on the project panel. With the clip highlighted a preview window for that clip appears over on the left. This gives us some basic controls to play or pause the clip I can also grab this slider here and move it around, which moves to different parts of the video clip. You can see that this corresponds to the black line on the thumbnail in the project panel. I can also drag this black line around and it does the same thing. I'm going to add some more video clips now. I'll select a few different clips and you can see that these have appeared next to the first clip. I'll click the first clip and press my space bar to play through the clips. One into the next and into the next. Okay, that's looking a bit more interesting, but I might want to add some transitions between the clips to make it run a bit smoother. I can do this by going up to the tabs at the top and choosing animations. There are plenty to choose from here. When I put my mouse over each one, I can see the effect that it will have in the video preview window. But I want something a little bit more simplistic and professional. So I'll hunt around here for a cross dissolve or cross fade. There's one. I'll select that and the fade has applied to the last clip. I'll just go up here and select apply to all and this will put a fade between each of the clips. If I click the first clip again and press my spacebar, you should see the effect of the cross fade in action. And there we have a simple edit in Windows Live Movie Maker. Why don't you have a go?